Yeah, so what I'm doing here right now is I'm just making sure to check a couple of things as such as the weather there in South Korea is looking good for today. So we want to go ahead and uh, keep that in mind. The weather looks clear and fine uh, going into the wee morning, early hours, 5.30 a.m. tomorrow. And speaking of that time, what you want to do is go ahead and get in, click on the link in the description of this video to get into the Discord so we can chat you up there and make sure you get uh, all the places that you need to go. Um, for now, though, I'm just showing you is for today's or tomorrow's actually uh, KBO coaching strategy as it is my goal to get um, two particular lineups for each cash and GPP up there. So you can take a look at those. If there was any raining, by the way, or any foul weather, bad weather, uh, I would avoid the slate altogether. Uh, talking, you know, anything up around uh, even 30% chance of rain or anything like that. So when you look here and you click on if you were coming from the main page and you would click on the daily fantasy baseball strategy coaching for today and has a date because it is updated every day like i mentioned unless there is a uh, rain out or something so these are just the um, past results real quick looking at those and then coming down here i have it lined up pitcher rankings for today this may change here or there um, i'm going to further analyze it a bit more comparatively with their overall stats for the year and uh, some advanced metrics there. But um, Drew Ruchinski is a number one, and Eric Jokish looking like number two preferred options at pitcher, the pitcher there. But Aaron Brooks, this guy actually, he's very tempting, very playable as a second option for your DraftKings lineup. So uh, look at Aaron Brooks, had an impressive showing, as I mentioned here. And no walks, impressive, so nice control. And then looking down here to stacks, I'm giving you two right here right now. This is the Doosan Bears and the KIW Heroes. So you can definitely look at those. And I will give you one more inside the Discord of my chat and give you more. I'm avoiding group thinking or group think. I've done research on that in the past, as um, despite being with a group before and uh, involved with a couple of different groups, I'm avoiding the group think. As uh, my recommendations here the past several days have been good, but I haven't always followed my own recommendations, partly because of the group think uh, theory is that when you get into any kind of group chat or discussion and get feedback from others, then it does change your mind. So if you start looking at even if you look at Vegas over under totals and implied team totals, that does change your um, thought process as well. And there's a little bit too much of that going on overall in the industry. As we look to basically simplify the process here at Major League Baseball, um, get you the corresponding best stacks, best pitchers, looking on down the line, you know, which ta pitchers to attack, such as this guy, Jun Shiop of the Han Eagles. Uh, Shun, Jun Shiop M, it, it appears, would be the pronunciation if you want to attack him, of course. Uh, the most obvious uh, with this the team was a bit hot, the Kia Tigers, if you want to look to attack with them. Uh, probably more so for tournaments, though. But there's one other I did not mention that I will get into inside the Discord chat and also give you certainly free to discuss or walk through anything that you want to talk about chat in that Discord so that I will even also show you where to get the numbers, um, all the stats, particularly, you know, how to do those sorts of things uh, inside the chat if you ask me. And, of course, give you the lineups, like I mentioned, um, cash or 50-50 head-to-head type and um, the tournament lineup so we can get, you know, going winning here uh, for tonight in the KBO and live to continue this, the success um, hearing of the positive or at least um, somewhat optimistic view of the Major League Baseball um, slates probably coming up here. And just, of course, as well, remember that you can get um, today's slate of games as an overview once you click on here, like the pitchers, or just look here right here for, as I mentioned, the number one pitcher on my um, slate, my board for today is Drew Rusinski, so you can look at him. He has a nice, a nice outing that he had last time uh, versus the Samsung Lions in, the, in his last game, so um, definitely look out here and... If there's anything else I can do or help with to give a, kind of give away or at least inside there, um, let me know. And we'll talk to you there in, in the Wealthy Fantasy Football Discord. Click on the description in the link here and subscribe to the channel as well. As, as I mentioned, 
building lineups here one player at a time without uh, really using optimizer. I would use optimizers sometime in the future for uh, various type of GPPs, uh, as I will explain in a bit more deep hit, detail and depth, but just focus on basically, especially uh, mostly for the cash for today and throw a GPP lineup there and see what happens in the results for the early morning. And also 5 a.m. sharp is when, or a few minutes after, just give me a chance to wake up and maybe start a brew. And uh, <laughs> what kind of brew though, that's up to you. Um, so you can get uh, that the particular lineups really solid and locked. The projected lineups just coming out late tonight. Like maybe, oh, you know, <clears throat> I would say before 9 p.m., just projected lineup based on like the Roto Grinders projected, uh, the place to go, you know, uh, projected lineups. But then the final locks being in the morning, uh, right about 5.15 a.m., I would say. All right, so see you then.